So again, when you navigate it just normally, it's not so bad. Like, this tells you how to go through it and all that. Like, you're not going to be lost. But, like, once you beat it and you're trying to, like, re-navigate and collect the coins, you're like, okay, shit. There's a path to the left, a path to the right, a path to the up. Which way am I supposed to go again? What's the chronological order? And it's very easy to get mixed up. So, like, when you're just playing through it for the sake of playing through it, it's, no, it's not bad. But if you're trying to look for challenges or something like that, it's very, very non-linear. And that's not a bad thing. It's just, it's easy to get lost and confused. So, do with that what you will. Feel with that how you feel. It's totally fine. Um, yeah, I can see that. You can't. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yep, stop snoring. I know I can get up there. I've done that before. And also chests. Um, I think it was actually at the town square was the last challenge I did before I was like, okay, I can't figure out how to get this one to work, and I just gave up. So, I had cleared all the challenges up to... That's a... I thought it was a noose for a second. It's more like a leash. Um, yeah, I had cleared up all the challenges prior to, and... You know, it didn't feel so bad, but it was around here where I was like, okay, it's a bit too much for me. I can't figure out how to do it. And uh, that was about the point where I gave up. And I've considered the idea of, like, you know, I could go back and do some challenges or whatever just to earn coins or spirit orbs and stuff. I don't give a fuck. We're calling them spirit orbs. That's like, what, the third game we've done where there's spirit orbs? I don't remember what the other one was. It was Breath of the Wild, something after Breath of the Wild, and now this. Like, my mind's like, Shantae? No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Shantae. Actually, no, I don't think it was Shantae. Oh, well. But, regardless, spirit orbs are a thing in gaming, apparently. It wasn't Shantae, it wasn't TSA. Uh, a, a really weird realization I've had is that, just not counting Pokemon Stadium 2, which I don't actually count as an official LP, everything I did in 2019 was on the Wii U. And that's kind of a really weird thing to consider. And also, Pokemon Stadium 2 is the first time I did an N64 game since Kirby 64, which was back in like 2015. So that's like a really trippy thought to me as well. It's just, I, I've looked, I'm a fucking loser and nerd for like stats and spreadsheets and stuff. So like, I like to just track stuff just to see what sort of information there are, is. Like, I've, I've done, I got a fucking spreadsheet of, like, here's all the games I've bought and how much they cost, because everybody says buying retro is expensive, even though, according to these numbers, it's fucking not, you goddamn idiot. So. I've got that, I've got a, I've got a spreadsheet on how much money I've technically made off of YouTube, because people like to joke, you know, you get, like, five cents a video or something like that. It's like, yeah, I've made over a thousand dollars, actually, and that's kind of a really weird thing to consider, because I doesn't feel like it, but it adds up after... How long have I been doing this? Getting paid? Like, 2014-ish? Late 2014, 2015? So I'd be like four or five years? I told myself at the beginning, I was like, no, I don't want to do it for money, I don't care. And, it's like, and then I graduated university, and I was like, you know, it might not hurt to have one bill or two paid for. And that's basically what it does, is it pays, like, a bill or two for me every now and again. It's definitely not something you can live off of. But I don't care. That's not my goal. This is just a hobby. I really feel like we missed something back there, but maybe it's just from a different angle where I gotta go down the left or right path or something. And again, that's kind of what I hate about this area. It's so fucking confusing. And that's not gonna help it. I don't want to push that stuff yet. I want to wait. Take me to the coins. Wow. Alright, I was actually worried we were going to be missing one, but I guess not. Whee. Hooray!
Yeah, also we did a pretty good job with um the the Luigi brothers. So that was pretty all right. That says okay, but where did I just come from? Right there, because I wasn't done there. I needed to, I needed to look. All right, so here's another one of those put shit in the right shit places. But the thing about this though is sometimes you can't tell if it's upside down or if it's literally the same. It's upside down. Okay, so this needs to be all the way back. Or right there, I guess. So next, we need... Alright, well I heard that. No. Right here. Which means that needs to be there. One more. No? Two more. Yeah, see, there it goes. And this needs to be all the way back here. So that happens a lot, and that was one of the things I wanted to complain about with some of the ones, like, even in the Ancient Gardens. You know, that, um, that colored block puzzle, the very first one we did? Like, they're mirrored, but, like, you wouldn't think it. You would think, oh, well, it belongs up here, right in this spot. And it's like, no, 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 it's a reflection. But it doesn't feel like it's obvious that it's supposed to be reflections. So it's very easy to get that confused, but... Who needs to try and solve the puzzles when you can just listen for the stupid idiot sounds to tell you where it goes? Okay, but if that says go there... Wasn't there just an arrow that said go there, though? Is this back where we just came from? Because if so, why the fuck is there an arrow telling you to go backwards? It's definitely gotta be where we... Oh, sorry, it's... At the bottom? Yes, okay, I'm done, I'm done. Fast forwarding all that shit. All this shit. One of my favorite things about the Coliseum LP, and probably a reason I'm not sure I would ever redo it, is because I loved how I would get frustrated trying to catch them, and I would just fast forward my catching attempts, and it'd just be me shouting at like a high-pitched voice. I always thought that was hilarious. That was like my favorite thing about it. And it's, it's a decision where it's like, I don't know if I would have thought to do that, but since I did before, Yeah, these guys are kind of incredibly annoying because they teleport all over the fucking place. And they also have a magnet dance ability to lure you in as well. So this is why I think Luigi is incredibly useful, and basically Peach and Rabbit Mario are incredibly useless. Because if with them teleporting all over the fucking place, short range isn't an option. It looks like there's six... So having Luigi's... Yeah, this is the one I remember in particular. This one took me a couple of tries, because, yeah, this is the streets. Yeah. With Luigi's range, like, he can, he can fuck them up if they... I don't think teleporting actually counts as movement, so I don't think that interferes. But, like, he can at least shoot them from anywhere. The, the hero sight's only going to be useful on those guys, so you'd want to just focus on the peekaboos. This one might take me a couple attempts, I don't know. It took me a couple attempts my first time playthrough, so... I think what I want to do... I want to get up high is what I want to do. And I want to try and get that guy. Is there any... What, you can't tackle shit. So you can't benefit in any way from that. We can put you, like, right here, and then Mario can jump off of him for sure. Alternatively, because you can't jump for shit, we could have Luigi do it and send his sentry out. Yeah, that's right, I've increased everyone's stuff. Uh, turn that on first. Hero Sight's basically just going to be used for getting those idiots down there. But we can at least have Mario bounce off of this guy's head. Here, I won't use the thing just in case. Because I kind of want to jump off of his head and then hammer him. And that should be enough. Like, by itself. And not that I don't appreciate the hammer upgrade, but I do feel like had I not done that, we probably might have had like a little bit of an easier time with the um, other boss fight, because then the, the Sandy and Lizzie. 
because then I could have like invested into something a bit more practical or someone else, you know? Ugh, kind of like just, you know, fucking why not? Is my mindset right now? Is there anyone you can benefit from going towards? I mean, we could put you up here just to have you up here, but it's like, do we really want you to, or do we want to separate you? Because I kind of want to separate them, if I'm honest. There's also this pipe here, I guess. Yeah, we'll do this, I guess. It's a 50-50 shot. Okay. Like, I do want to shoot these guys, but I don't. Like, I think I want to shoot for that just to destroy that block, if I'm honest. Oh, that's a metal block. Whoops, never mind. Well. Yeah, because, see, I know, like, with that, like, that's getting shot. So I'm kind of like, don't even bother shooting these guys, because they're just going to get hero sighted in a second. See, now he's magnet us. Well, not entirely a magnet, but... No, nope, that's entirely a magnet. I take it back. How's it going? It doesn't matter. Mario's about to fuck you up in a second anyway. See, there you go. And pull us back up, I guess. See, and with them doing that, like, it doesn't affect the sight. And it's kind of a major bummer. Are we done telling Rabbit Luigi to go everywhere? Because I think the man wants to, like, chill. Just an idea. See, like, Luigi's sight was completely wasted. But, we should be able to kill this guy indefinitely. Because that right there will give him quite a bit of health back. And then just this shot will give him the rest of the health back. So that's one less problem. That's a 50-50 shot. Um, is it just those two guys down Yeah, it looks like it is. Just the two down there. Okay. Um, Morrow, I don't think you could reach anybody... So I guess, uh, see, Luigi might be able to run over there, Luigi. I don't know, actually, that might limit it, because then, yeah, he can't take, well, he could still go down there and then send the sentry up, so what I want to do is I want to send Mario away. We'll put him right here, I guess, because I see a 50 right there. And it's about that guy right up above us. Then we're going to have Luigi go through this pip. Get as close as he can. Send the sentry up to hit the other guy. Wow. Or alternatively the guy with the fifth. One of the two. Alright, that is guaranteed this turn. So, But he's also guaranteed dead. So we'll take this chance. Oh. And then Mario can... Press his luck, see if he gets lucky enough to actually hit this guy. Wow. Okay, I don't know if honey actually affects their teleporting or not. We'll find out. The answer looks like yes, he can't teleport. So, now Luigi can run up and fuck him up. Yes, Luigi's there. Goodbye. Alright, that wasn't bad. I didn't struggle. I knew what I was getting myself in for. And right now, we got ourselves the Dream Team. Probably the only time Luigi's ever going to hear that in his life. <laughs> is when he's with another Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> 